I think Ketch is really unique in Canada. It's the only pan-Canadian early rheumatoid arthritis cohort. Uh, it's been going on for over 15 years and we've collected data in most of the provinces across Canada for that time. <clears throat> and it's really given us good insights into current practice patterns in Canada. Uh, we've used it to look at a number of things related to best practices. So looking at how, how people with early rheumatoid arthritis in, in Canada are being treated according to guidelines. And we've shown really high adherence to guideline recommendation and quality indicators, which are standards of care for people with rheumatoid arthritis. Um, so I think it really represents the uh, sort of gold standard of, tr of treatment of early rheumatoid arthritis. From a rheumatologist perspective, it's been really helpful in seeing practice patterns from across Canada in talking to other rheumatologists, learning from other rheumatologists in terms of what's working well in terms of their practice. Um, so there's lots of sharing that goes on across Canada. From the, the patient perspective, I think that's been really valuable in sort of getting, um, is first of all, having contributing to the knowledge of, of treatment of rheumatoid arthritis in Canada. It's, and as well as, um, you know, knowing that you're part of a community where people are always learning from each other and trying to treat uh, optimally early rheumatoid arthritis. So in terms of uh, quality of care indicators in CATCH, what we found is a really high adherence to quality indicators, which are sort of the, the standard of how, of how you want uh, people with rheumatoid arthritis to, to receive their care. So we found um, people are getting starting treatment right away. So with at the very first diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis in the patients within CATCH, there's very high uh, rates of adherence and uh, persistent with, with DMARD therapy, which we know um, is important to control inflammation and prevent damage long term. So really in, in all the areas we've looked at in terms of guideline adherence and quality indicators, we found really high levels of adherence across CATCH. We're always looking to see how practice patterns are changing over time. And one of the things we've looked at is when the um, guide, Canadian guidelines came out around 2010 to 2012, did practice patterns change? And we did found an increase in ter terms of um, uh, adherence to quality indicators. I think in terms of uh, rheumatologists who are not part of CATCH, which is uh, the vast majority, I, I, I mean, the, the, um, the aspect of catch of communicating with colleagues and sharing best practices, I think that happens really well within catch. So that would be one learning is that, um, you know, meeting with colleagues and reviewing sort of how your practice compares to colleagues and how it compares to the guidelines is a valuable uh, process. And that's now being sort of implemented across Canada in terms of, um, you know, uh, practice audits and, re you know, having requirements for rheumatologists to um, do practice audits each year. So so that's been one interesting part of CATCH is, uh, is being able to do that within our within our practice.